I'm April Studdiford and I bought this house after my husband died. The house we had together was much too big for me and I felt it would be a good idea to buy a really ordinary three bedroom semi and show just what, how green you could make it. The extension is timber framed and it's clad with cedar uh, and the windows are Danish double glazing. They're wooden, they're painted with organic paint. There's argon in the gap to make them even less conducting. One of the advantages of these uh, windows is the, the very uh, efficient. And then because the house is so well sealed, you occasionally want a little ventilation and you've got push vents like that that allow a small amount of air in. The roof is cedar shingles. This is what the cedar shingles look like when they first go on and they are layered so that in fact you have different sizes and there are four of them so the whole thickness of the roof is four pieces of wood thick so it's a very good insulator. And people wonder how long it will last at least a hundred years and I don't have to do anything about it maintenance wise. Down here is a tiny air brick which is called periscope because it allows the air to go in and then up and then along. Underneath the cedar is insulation of fleece, sheep's wool, and inside that an insulating board called Firmicell, which is made of partly of paper, and it keeps it, it very much warmer than it would otherwise be. And an extension like this, built of timber, doesn't cost any more than one of bricks and tiles, and of course being sustainable, it's very, it's very much better for the environment. I'll take you around to the front of the house to show you what I have done there. Up there where those little marks are is where the cavity wall insulation has gone in. And I think if you were only doing one thing, insulation is the most important one of all. It was very important to put on a porch because it acts as a, an airlock to help keep the house warm. And also, it gets very hot itself. And when I open the inner door and it warms the house. There are solar panels on the roof which provide hot water nearly all the time. The heating in the extension is under floor heating done mainly by the solar panels and people are surprised about that but it works extremely well. The reason is, as you'll realise, if you have a very small radiator it has to be very hot. If you have a huge one the size of the whole room it doesn't have to be much hotter. All the equipment up here was put together as a package to make the very best use of the solar panels and the condensing boiler to, to make efficient hot water heating for the house and the underfloor heating as well. This is fleece which is used to insulate up here and also down in the extension. It comes from sheep of course and it's very much better. The workmen much prefer it to rock wool which is so unpleasant to handle and it's a very good insulator and in humid days it takes up moisture in dry days it gives it up again, so it helps to make the whole atmosphere of the house more pleasant. It's the attention to detail that makes a big difference, like using an airing rack instead of a tumble dryer, having all the light bulbs low energy, having appliances like the freezer aerated. It all makes a big difference. This house won the Observer Ethical Award in 2006. It's also part of the Old Home Super Home Alliance a group of houses which have all saved at least 60% of their carbon. For further details, go to the website www.s-ea.org.uk.